Welcome. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I have t equals 5 pi over 6. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to sketch the angle and then find the point on the unit circle. Yippee, all right. So what we're going to do here is, I don't really remember. No, I'm just joking. OK. So <laughs> what we have, um, you know, it gets to me. I'm sometimes like I'm at school and I'm just making videos. And yeah, I just make a lot of videos. And sometimes it just gets a little boring. So I want to kind of cheer up and put a smile on my face here. So I have 5 pi over 6. All right, so we're taking a look at the point that's going to be on the unit circle. And I have a nice little unit circle here. And I show you the points in the first quadrant. And we're just going to use that first quadrant to help us find the points in the other quadrants if my point is in the other quadrant, which we'll be able to see in a second it is. So my angle is positive. That means I'm going to go counterclockwise. We know halfway around a circle is pi. And that's a whole pi, right? Six parts over six. Yep. If you have six, six parts of a, of a whole broken into six, then you know that's a whole. I feel a sneeze. Maybe not. Um, so I like to write that 6 pi over 6 because when we're talking about an angle that's broken into 6, it's going to be very important that I, I use this pi in this format. So therefore, I have 5 pi over 6. Well, that's not a whole. That means I know this angle is going to be less than halfway around a circle. So to, what I do then is since I'm breaking up into six parts of, of a whole, I'm going to break this into parts of six. And I know these are not exactly equal. But um, what you can see, though, is if we count these, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6. So if this is my initial side in standard form, this will be my standard side, standard ray. And then we want to see, well, where is this angle intersect or crossing the unit circle? Well, again, if we're only pi over 6 away, right? 6 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, I'm only pi over 6 away. So you can see that this angle is a direct reflection of this angle, which is only pi over 6 away. And you can look by my unit circle. Pi over 6 up is just square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. So therefore, if I reflect that over the y-axis, you can now see that this coordinate point is now my x is going to be negative. So it's negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, a positive 1 half. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find your coordinate point. Um, when you sketch your angle, 5 pi over 6. Thanks.